so what what the hell is going on with with, with Israel and and Syria? <laughs> um, I don't think it's reported that much. I mean, occasionally I'll hear uh, a report about a missile strike in 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 Syria by Israel. It always freaks me out because I'm like, what is Israel doing in in Syria? Um, but it, but I could ask the guy of so many other nations as well. Uh, Syria being a uh, a a catastrophe regarding uh, all these various nations coming in and, and trying to influence the affairs of what's happening, uh, the affairs mm-hmm. of that region. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <clears throat> what is Israel's game? What are they trying to do in Syria? What is the point of, of launching military strikes, of missile strikes in Syria? Yeah, I, so I, I think, first of all, that this is a, just a very important question for us to be asking, because as you said, it's uh, not covered very well in the United States, if it's covered at all. Uh, we get just brief glimpses into uh, Israel's operations there, you know, such as like the downing of uh, the Israeli jet uh, a few months ago, um, which was a huge scandal because Israeli jets aren't supposed to be shot down. They're supposed to carry out their attacks and then come back to base. Um, and so, but yeah, in fact, Israel is very is regularly carrying out operations uh, in Syria. It's 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 reported here and it's understood here in Israel. Uh, it's just not it's, it's just not uh, covered. in, for example, the New York Times. Um, yeah, so I think that Israel. I think that if you you know look into it, you find out pretty quickly what Israel's uh, main aims are. Um, and on the surface, to many people, they uh, they might seem like reasonable aims. Like they don't want uh, they don't want uh, Iran to gain a, fo- a foothold in Syria, uh, you know, Syria, which of course borders Israel. They don't want um, uh, Iran to be able to create a sort of land corridor uh, through Syria uh, into Lebanon, where uh, Hezbollah is based, um, which is the uh, uh, you know. Hezbollah, meaning the Party of God, the Shiite Party, which is aligned with Iran, um, has fought uh, fought a war with Israel back in 2006. Um, is largely uh, seen as having defeated Israel and and been the main reason that Israel um, pulled out of uh, Lebanon in uh, in the early 2000s. Um, uh, made their occupation in Lebanon, which had lasted for for almost a little under 20 years, uh, intolerable. Um, so they, so Israel wants to prevent, uh, Iran and Hezbollah, uh, from, uh, coordinating and, uh, wants to prevent those, those arms transfers to, to Hezbollah. Um, Hezbollah in contrast to Hamas is not an insignificant military force. Um, Hamas, Hamas is, Hamas is is demonized, and there's a lot of fear of Hamas in within Israel. Um, but they're not really they're, they're not a significant military power at all. And I think I, th- I think most people uh, in uh, who are maybe say officers in the IDF or know anything about uh, the Israeli military know that Hamas is no match. Uh, that said, um, Hezbollah is no match for the IDF either. But they are. But a war between Israel and Hezbollah would um, would be bloody, and there would be civilians who would die on either side. It wouldn't be um, it wouldn't just be the sort of situation where you're shooting fish in the barrel as Israel did um, in its operations in Gaza in recent years. Um, so so yeah, so that so that is Israel's aim. Now do they want to check um, Iran. I think they and I think Israel and um, and the United States also want to weaken their mutual enemy Assad. Um, the, you know, though I don't think Assad, Assad is not in any way, shape or form, uh, willing or interested to engage in a war with Israel. He's far too weak for that. Um, but down the, you know, down the road, it's in Israel's interest and, um, supposedly in, in the view of Netanyahu and his administration, uh, for Assad to be as weak as possible. Um, and, uh, so, so those are, that's, that's a over, you know that's basically what the aims are. Um, I think the real scandal for me at least, and what I tried to emphasize in the article, is how Israel goes about achieving those aims. Um, you know, it's you know, I'm no I'm no fan of Iran either, and I I don't think even if we think it's not a good idea for them to have expanding influence in the region, there's of course limits on what we think we can do in order to limit uh, limit another country. Uh, and Israel feels that it has every right to 
uh, bomb them, attack them. Uh, you know, whether 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 it might bring about uh, you know regional all-out war, it doesn't care. Um, and uh, it's it's uh, it's scary, and um, it's I think it's a real scandal, and it's not it's not getting the attention it deserves. 